if you've uh, ever had Lebanese coffee before and uh, you uh, would like to know how it's made, um, I'm going to show you how Lebanese coffee is made. So, uh, what I have here right now is uh, well, what they call Turkish coffee or Lebanese coffee. You can uh, It's extra fine grind and you can find this in your uh, local supermarket in the imported food section or any Middle Eastern uh, food grocery store. So uh, it's extra fine coffee, uh, there's different brands, different kinds. So there's decaf and regular. So anyway, uh, what you do first, I have uh, this uh, uh, takes about 10 ounces. So uh, 10 ounces of, uh, what I'm doing is boiling 10 ounces of water for this which makes about uh, seven cups of coffee so I pre-boiled the water and so I pre-boiled the water just to make this quick so I'm gonna pour about 10 ounces of water here okay now some people like it with sugar and some people like it just the way it is so if you want sugar the best way to do it is uh, when the water is hot and already boiled, you can put the sugar in, maybe a teaspoon, half teaspoon, and uh, what you do is, the best way to know is how much, how sweet you want it, is to actually taste the water. If you want it sweeter, you want it, you know, less sweet, you just add more hot water. So I'm not going to put sugar in, but if you want, like it with sugar, that's fine. Um, so the water boiled here, what you do is, um, that's about 10 ounces of water, I'm going to take a, a, tea, a tablespoon of the coffee and I'm going to move this aside. So I'm going to put that in there. Spilt a little bit. And take, make sure you take it off the stove when you're going to put the coffee in it because it will overflow. And it will get all over your stove. So I'm just going to mix it a little bit. Put it back in the stove and then I'm going to go for another half tablespoon of coffee. So a tablespoon and a half should do 10 ounces of uh, water. 10 ounces of water which will make about seven um, small cups of coffee. So now that water was boiling. Now when I put the coffee in it, uh, it cooled down a little bit. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it boil maybe just a, a couple times. Make sure once it starts boiling you take it off the, the burner. So I'm just going to wait until it boils a bit. But what that does is it dissolves the coffee better into, in the water. It will dissolve as soon as you uh, put it in, into boiling water, but uh, it will dissolve better. If you just and it'll give it more flavor if you just let it uh, boil a little bit. So put this back there. So if you want sugar, you just put uh, sugar in the water, taste the water, see how sweet you want it, um, and it's preference if anybody. Okay, it's starting to boil there. So it boiled the first time. I'm going to take it off the burner, stir it up a little bit, and then put it back on the burner. And let it boil up again a little bit. So, so this coffee you can find in any supermarket really. In the import section there it just boiled up. So what you do, it boiled a couple of times and I'm done. It depends, if you boil it more it'll become stronger. So make sure you're always watching it because it will overflow over your stove and, and make a terrible mess. So anyway, now that coffee is done. What you usually do is uh, you can put a, uh, a cover on it. Uh, it. It has to sit for a couple of minutes in order for the uh, the coffee to settle. The coffee, the fine coffee grounds, uh, they'll settle at the bottom of the uh, the uh, the coffee uh, pot here. So anyway, in a couple minutes, two, three minutes, whatever, uh, let it settle for a little bit and then uh, there's your uh, Lebanese coffee. I didn't let it settle enough, but
tastes pretty good. So, tablespoon and a half in 10 ounces of water, and just the way I did it right there. That's Lebanese coffee.